let's start by going global. Nike has been killing it in terms of athletic apparel and footwear. But we got to look at China. This has been a great growth story for you, but headlines that we're seeing across the board are negative about the Chinese consumer. Do you think you'll see a slowdown? You know, we're not seeing it. Actually, in China, our brand is incredibly strong. The market is actually good for us in terms of sports participations on the rise. It's a globally, or I'm sorry, it's a mobily connected community digitally, so that's actually good for us. Our digital platform is actually uh, doing quite well. Uh, our reset over the last couple of years in China has really proven to be uh, uh, fruitful in terms of setting the foundation for future growth for us in China. Uh, the consumers want premium brands. They want authentic brands. And they're voting uh, every day, and Nike's actually uh, doing quite well. So we expect that the pipeline of innovation that we have coming and uh, the, the work that we've done to really get the operational uh, foundation set for uh, years to come has really uh, put us in a great position in China. Since there are so many consumers that love that Nike premier brand, do you see yourself selling off some of your secondary labels like Hurley? No, actually, we we're, we are. Uh, I think the strength of our portfolio is the diversity we have by brand, by category, uh, gender, price points, channels. Uh, we have a good spectrum of uh, brands. Uh, the brands are strong. Uh, we, we look at Jordan. We look at Converse. Hurley, I think, has got uh, potential as well, and certainly Nike. Uh, that's a good portfolio. It's a great portfolio, in fact. I think the potential for Converse and, and Jordan, for example, to expand beyond the footprint that they have today is uh, tremendous. So we're really excited about that. We talked about that today at our investor conference here. Let's, let's talk about that Jordan expansion plan. You're looking to take the Jordan brand, clearly iconic. You've got 30 Air Jordans out there outside basketball and to women? Well, we, we're actually uh, w with women's product today. I think the opportunity is in expanding the product offering, differentiating and diversifying the Jordan product. Uh, training is a natural extension. I think a new position at running is a good extension. Uh, you've seen that uh, Michigan is going to be uh, wearing uh, Jordan uh, football uniforms. It's an all-school deal, so we'll see uh, Jordan showing up in multiple sports uh, in, in, at Michigan, and then that, that program we think will uh, uh, continue to grow and evolve. Uh, it's a great brand. Uh, it's been very one-dimensional in the sense that it's largely footwear, largely male, largely U.S. based. Uh, so we think that the opportunity uh, to give the consumer more choice in that brand carefully, you know, we've got to make sure that uh, we're doing it the right way, uh, but we feel there's tremendous opportunity with Jordan. You mentioned Michigan. Traditionally, you have not had to pay top dollar for college teams, but 169 million bucks for that team. Is it just competition now? There are other brands in the space that are pushing these prices higher. And is it worth all that money? Last night, I interviewed Tom Brady, and I said, what do you think about Michigan and Nike again? And he said, bad decision. Well, there is a, there is a premium on the great uh, sports marketing. Uh, assets out there, and, and Nike's, uh, you know, had a relationship with Michigan. We feel like it's a, a really great opportunity for us to not only bring the best of Nike and Jordan uh, really to Michigan, but really grow the program and uh, the recognition around uh, this great school. Uh, the athletes, they, they want Nike. They want the energy that we uh, have to bring. And, and Jordan, I think, is particularly attractive to the athletes as well. Uh, they're proud to be really the first team to be wearing Jordan. Uh, so we're excited to uh, deliver. And I think you'll see some exciting things. Are you prepared for, for this price war you're having with your competition in terms of maintaining or winning these teams? Whether you're talking athletes like Kevin Durant last year that you really had to pay up for or to step up for Michigan, these are big numbers. You're not concerned that this is sort of I, I, almost a race to the top. You're paying, having to pay top dollar that you've never seen before. Yeah. Well, we're competitive, and we want to be with the best uh, teams, the best athletes. Uh, I'm incredibly proud of the uh, roster of athletes and teams and league relationships that we have. I wouldn't trade it with anybody. Uh, we know that uh, there's a premium attached to that. Uh, it's, it's all in how what we do with those properties. It's not just 
uh, a real estate grab. It's not just putting more exposure for our brand out there. It's what we do to take the insights from these relationships and turn them into real innovation. That's what's exciting to us. Are you going to be keeping the University of Texas? This is going to be a big deal. Uh-huh. Yeah, we like Texas, so we'll see. Stay tuned. What do you think? Give us an idea. I can't really say. Uh, we've right. been talking, so, uh, yeah, I'm hopeful. <laughs>